Hi, I'm Frank Smith, <laughs> and this is Emily Ubank. Let's just start getting more. Hi, I'm Frank oh, Smith, and this is Emily Ubank. You don't need to point at me. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Frank Smith. I think you've got it. And right. I'm with Emily Ubank. <laughs> Sheffield, Tony Mobet Jetta against Chris Eubank Jr. was in the uh, bar after the fight, went and got her a little uh, amaretto sour, and the That's rest is such history. A <laughs> what? Okay. You're not going to say anything? I think you covered it. Okay. I think we're just adding that um, you, you'd stalked me for two days before you actually approached. From a distance. He, years later, told me. He knew. He actually told me an outfit I was wearing the day before he'd even spoke to me. <laughs> so that was a little bit strange. <laughs> but yeah, Sheffield. Me, I've got. You know, I'm the confident one. She was a shy, sort of. You know, just I'm so important. Look at me. I'm here, and what? that's what you were a bit like. You know, like you were making me go and take tickets to the box office. You cannot help yourself. What did I do? Okay, I'll start again. I approached her first, but someone introduced me to her because I was working and <clears throat> she wanted me to do loads of like menial jobs and didn't realise I had a proper job, but she'd be like, can you run these tickets to the box office and can you go and make me a cup of tea and do this, that, the other? Because I, I fancied her, obviously, I went and did it. Is that right? Yeah, so we kind of met through work. I just thought he was a tea boy. So you didn't actually ask me out until the fight was over. So we'd spent like three days of you going to get my friends from out the front, running my tickets around, and then, and then yeah, then you then you came in to the hotel after the fight. Can I get you a drink? I don't drink. I don't sound like that. Well, <laughs> well here we go. You taking a bit? <laughs> well, that's what you do sound like. Um, yeah. That's kind of, kind of it. I mean, this is a bit awkward. We didn't really go on a date. We sort of, mm. we sort of like just spent it time with each other, and then. Well, no, we, we. At work, like it was work. It was a working vibe mm. that we were, we'd see each other at because I didn't live anywhere near you. Yeah, and then every now and then I'd go to Brighton and I'd go and sit in her flat and she wouldn't even kiss me. I thought, I'd just drive all the way to Brighton, it's like an hour and a half from here. And I'd go it's only 45 and, minutes. Yeah, it's only for us what I used to tell my mates, because they were like, there's a lot of birds in Brentwood, you know. And I'd drive all the way to Brighton and she'd like play it all cool. And I'd try and kiss her and she'd be like, yeah, see you later. But he also tried to kiss me the first night we that night of the fight and she mugged me off good and proper i tried to kiss her twice yeah and like painful. sort of leant over and she wouldn't kiss me and then tried it again and she still wouldn't <laughs> so yeah you did not take the hint but well done persistence is key it's a bit awkward we don't i wouldn't remember like i haven't i could not tell you a She's first got day. terrible memory but if I was to say, I don't know, it's tough actually. That's really bad, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. We don't know. It's actually a long time ago now. It's about, five, it's coming up like five years. Four. No, but, but five when we met. All right. Yeah, but I, I couldn't tell you where the first restaurant we went to was. No, not in a million years. Probably like Subway or something. I remember the night he asked me to be his girlfriend. When was that? In Monaco over a lovely risotto in the Hermitage Hotel. <laughs> but that's like where we take our anniversary from, so. November 2016. November 5th, so you've, obviously I get fireworks, fireworks. every that's year. That's what I do for her every year. <laughs> I speak to Guy and he lights off some Fireworks were. Yeah, because it'll be four years this year, won't it? Yeah, and I was so disappointed because I was like to all my friends, I was like, oh, we're going to be in Monaco for bonfire night. Imagine how amazing the fireworks are going to be in Monaco. Like, Ugh. and he was like, no, like, that's some yeah, British no thing. There's no fireworks <laughs> in Monaco, is there? 
There actually wasn't. Well, I thought, even though it's a British thing, like you said. Well, you think Guy Fawkes Night is everywhere. No, but you just do it, wouldn't you? It's like Halloween and Christmas. Just it's, do it. It's just still a the, big just thing. Just for the lulls. <laughs> well, so, yeah, yeah, that, so was, that was disappointing. I didn't get fireworks that night, but every year since. I would say Emily is probably the most annoying. <laughs> what would you say? It's just a stupid question though, isn't it? Because obviously I find you annoying. You no, but it's like, it's like this morning, for example. You woke up and you wouldn't talk to me. No, I was fine. I was fine this morning and then you pissed me off. What did I do? Uh, it's not even... I don't, <laughs> don't even need to bring it up. No, I think we've both got our own annoying ways. I'm very, I'm very chilled. So I like to be left alone. I don't like to be smothered. Whereas he... Wants to be kissed and hugged and I told just want to be spoken to. to be yeah, honest. but I'm not like that. Right. And you knew that from day one, and you act surprised every time. Still, like, oh, well, you knew this, so I think you're more. You have more annoying habits, like. What's my annoying habits? Yours is your driving. I'm good at driving. I passed first time. I passed. Practical and theory, first time. You don't you know when we go to a roundabout. You don't know whether to give, give way or to right or left. They didn't, they didn't teach me that. They do. No, they didn't. I of course swear. they do. I swear, no one ever taught me that at a roundabout that you just give way to the right. I just thought you look both ways and make sure nothing's coming and going. And just have a guess who's <laughs> yeah. going to go first. Anyway, you've told me that that's yeah. not the case. Good. But yeah, you you're more. You do more annoying things. You haven't given one example. Do you really want me to start reading do. them off? Yeah. embarrass you. Yeah, well, we can always cut them out if they're too bad. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll just... Frank's more annoying. I'm the most funniest out of the two of us. No. Frank tries to be funny. Like, you try. You're like the jester. The jester? But you've... you've but I'm got... naturally funny. Like, I'm just being me and people are like, oh, your jokes. I'm like... No, I'm literally just mugging you off because that's what I'm saying. You are not funny, funny, though. No, but I don't try to be funny. People just think I am funny. Whereas Looking? you try to be funny. What? Nothing. <laughs> See, that like, like, that's not funny. <laughs> no, but I, I'm quite funny. I don't find you that funny. Oh, her. When Emily has had a drink, <laughs> She is a complete. She she can take the funny award when she's had a drink. You, when you have it, yeah, she doesn't I drink. She drink, drinks three times drink. a year, right? And then the next morning she wakes up, and it'll be like the world is over. You're like oh, I can't move out of bed like that. But when you are drunk, you are so annoying. No, I'm funny. All oh, right, okay. funny. So funny. You don't like it when I'm drunk because every, I'm like. I wouldn't she say I'm a show off, but like. <laughs> my alter ego comes out and then Frank's like right we're going home a suit like literally two right drinks. last time she got drunk right <laughs> little story so last time she got drunk we were in Liverpool after a show and she's gone in she's 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 out and she's doing like high kicks to a song like right getting her leg like up here somehow right she's doing these high kicks she goes off to the toilet I think where's she gone she comes out she's gone I've just been sick no, you don't. No, and I've yeah. gone. It, I and wasn't I, sick on purpose. It and was I've a got, tactical challenge. Yeah, and I've gone. Right, I we like should probably. Like to carry on. Yeah, but so we I, should probably go to bed now, babe. Like, you know, now you've been sick. No, it was tactical. I planned it <laughs> so I could carry on the night. So then we've got it. We've, I've made her go to bed. She's gone up to bed. She's thrown up again. She, then she's fallen asleep, just like basically, <laughs> like starfished on the bed. And falling asleep within a second like that. And I wake her up three hours later. We had to get back to London. And she's like, no, no, like felt horrendous. And <laughs> then pretended, pretended to, to sleep on the whole way ju so journey back. So gonna she, be yeah, annoyed. she was scared. Yeah. But also, you're the one, you don't drink like after work. So you'll be like getting all the bottles in, being like, shots, 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 shots. And then you don't drink, you get everyone else drunk, and then you're like, right, we've got to go. So just don't do that. Great tactic. Well, it's not because you're the one stuck with the drunk girlfriend. Yeah. So yeah. I'd say I'm the easiest to live with. 
Emily will say she's the easiest to live with, but she's... It's just one of them situations again, where we're such different people. Like I'm super easy to live with if you like to be left alone and not talked to and ignored. For seven so months. So it's perfect <laughs> if I had like a flatmate, because I would never talk to them, but you want to be talked to. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You're, you're not hard to live with because A, you're never here because you're always working. The only thing I would say is you leave your dirty pants everywhere. And like, oh. you'll do like a sock here. You'll take your, somehow you take your socks off like a different time. So like one will be here and then one will be over there. And then you take your pants off over there. And then your top not over the, there. Not in the living room. I'll never take my pants and my socks off oh. in the living room. No, but upstairs and it's really annoying. And then you don't pick it up. So okay. yeah, you're, you're, you're easy to live with, but you, you do annoying things. Oh my goodness, this person here. Do you know what? I just faff. I don't actually take a long time to get ready. I just faff a lot. She has right. never been on time for anything in her life. Yeah. And the other day I went to get, I was going to the office and she was going to Brighton and I went to get a coffee and the coffee took ages. Got back in the car and she went, are you fucking serious? Like I that. Didn't, I didn't you, swear. you did, you I went, did. all right. My, dad, my dad's gonna watch okay. this. Okay, are you swear. serious? <laughs> Went absolutely mental. 25, you've made, 25 you've, minutes for a coffee. You've made me late. She makes and me late. And I hate late. coffee. She makes she me late to coffee. everything. Makes your breath smelly, makes your teeth brown. So you know I hate coffee. The smell of it makes me want to be sick anyway. And you make me wait 25 minutes for a coffee. You make me late to everything. No, I don't. No, we're just late to events. But who wants to be early? You answer for me, I'll answer for you. No, my memory's too bad to remember. Do you want me to answer? I, I know I've done more romantic things. So basically, I'm more, what's the word? Like I, I put more thought behind it, whereas you'll just buy something expensive, which I don't care about, and think that means it's romantic. So it's like, you've not actually thought about it, you've just gone and bought something that, because it costs money, you think it's like, Oh, it's from it's not. The most I'd romantic. rather you bought like like how I did for our Valentine's this year, KFC, in the shopping mall. I brought With a candle. I brought candles. I bought a table lay. That was great. It cost us like the twelve quid. I'd say the most romantic thing you've ever done is crack open an Easter egg, uh, oh, yeah, Easter egg bunny, good. giving it to me for Valentine's Day, and inside was a load of love notes. They weren't love notes. They Calm were. Down. They were like you they mean like the world little, to me. Like I love things. you. Like I know you try and play it cool on these things. Definitely but didn't say the L word. I'd say you did. <laughs> I did because I actually you didn't say you didn't, didn't say, say the L, L word for the first three years exactly, of us being together. So I know it wasn't in them. I'd say the most romantic thing I've ever done for you is I bought you a Bambi for your birthday the other day. Yeah, and that is how you know he's not romantic. You no know Bambi. <laughs> The creature Bambi. So we've been going on loads of walks. The creature. This, the, it's a deer. The deer, Bambi. We've been going on loads of walks and she loved them, so I bought her a Bambi. Not a real one. A toy Just one. from Sainsbury's up the road because he forgot to get me a birthday present. Well, <laughs> actually, you didn't forget. We're in lockdown, so it was kind of like all he could do. I own about seven items of clothing you have a wardrobe that most girls would die for i like clothes yeah oh fuck off are you serious yes how am i high maintenance you're really high maintenance. <laughs> I'm not high maintenance. You're you're just you're hard to judge where your head's at in terms of like whether you're gonna be in a fiery mood or a good mood. I don't think you understand what high maintenance means. Okay. I'm like, not... I don't go and get my nails and hair done every week. I do that maybe once every like two months, tops. I, I don't ever wear makeup. No. So how am I in high maintenance? Because you're like oh and need hair gel or like need to get my beard done or my hair done because I wear deodorant oh, in the day oh 
Whereas yeah. you just don't. You'll wear perfume to bed. Like that's just weird. What's the point? Because I know you like and it when I no, smell it. No, you know I don't like it. I hate it. I don't brush my teeth at night because I don't like the, that is the, the, the like, awakening of it. So it's like you're gonna come in with all this perfume. It's like pfft, it's horrible. Can you cut out a bit where I say I don't brush my teeth at night? No, I never hilarious. had any fillings, and I actually think my teeth are quite nice, but I don't brush them at night. I can't believe I've just admitted that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. More, oh, I know. We always argue about the fact Emily is right about everything. I could say that that tracksuit is green, and if she thinks it's blue, she will fight to the death about yeah, that's that. That's my what I, I hold my hands up to that. I know I'm always right, about but you need to understand, or you should have learned by now, that I actually nine times out of ten I'm at, I am right. So and then you'll challenge me on things. Like the other day, we were watching a programme and they said that the mooring for a boat in Monaco is like four grand a night, or something like that. And he was like, they said 114,000. I was like, nobody, nobody is paying 114 grand a night to moor their boat in Monaco. No one, I don't care how rich they are. They did, that's what they said. I was like, they didn't. I know that they didn't. I heard it with my own ears. That's not what they said. Rewind it. What did they say, Frank? Four. Yeah, but so, so no, who was right? <laughs> yeah, no, but it's more... I'm it's, always right. Yeah, no, but it's more the fact of, say, I'm having, like, a stressful situation with work at, like, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, see, the way you dealt with that, that was all wrong. And it's like, on what basis do you know that's Yeah, but wrong? that's because you're, you're, you're soft and I'm not. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> you'll moan at me because someone's done something or you'll tell me the story if someone's done something. I'll say, well, why are you moaning at me? Just tell them or just don't say anything. If you're not going to say anything to them, I don't need to know about it, do I? Because I'm not going to be able to sort it out. Other than that, your the fact that you can't burp really grates on me. That's probably what we argue about most. Because you get annoyed that I'll say it. Why can't you just burp properly? And you'll be like, because I don't. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> yeah, I. I could be called jealous, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just too Emily chilled. doesn't care. It's not that I don't care, I care, I just don't. Some people have it in them, some people don't. I'm not particularly a jealous person, where you are more and more so than me anyway. Yeah, I'm it's not that I'm overly jealous, it's like Emily is so far the other way. No, you are. That I once, we were, we were in I once oh, was no, out We were seven. in Zara yesterday, buying some clothes. Yeah, and she and came go, up to me, right? Yeah, because I just came up to me out of nowhere and went, someone just hit on me. And I'm like, <laughs> but like so proud of herself. <laughs> I'm not proud of myself, I just say it. And to see your reaction, you're like, well, what was his name? I didn't ask his name, did I? Because that would be flirting. I think, I think it was Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, love your friend. But yeah, you're, you're a bit jealous. <laughs> Well, we're going to need to clear up that we're not actually engaged, are we? No, so... Can't afford the ring with all the money she spends. What money do I spend? It was a joke. Yeah, but the people won't know that. Okay, so. we can do that again. Who would be the best man at the wedding? Who would be the best man at my wedding? <laughs> we start well, again. <laughs> Frank doesn't have any friends because he works too much, so... No, you've got a few options. But I don't, I don't, it's not mine. Do you know what? So I had a birthday party last year and Emily threw it at the office for me and all the people around the table, the person I'd known there the longest were Eddie and his wife. Out of everyone there. I'd say, I, I've, Eddie would probably, if he accepts, will probably be my best man. If he, like, he might be busy with like some book launch or something like that. That would be great speeches. Yeah, but we're not engaged, so I don't know why everyone keeps congratulating us and asking when the wedding is. I have no intentions of getting married anytime soon. I think it's such like a stupid thing to do when you're young, because it's like, well then what have you got to look forward to? Romance is everywhere in this household. Yeah, but it's also not that romantic. It's like, you just sign a bit of paper. You're, you're no Great party though. Coogan yeah. will be we there. We can have the, like an engagement party would be fun, and then just get married like 10 years later. 
pay-per-view on IFL TV. <laughs> Never. Oh, see, I don't, I'm not going to be cringe and say nice things here. Say bad things. I'm not going to say bad things. Say everything. They want me to be like, oh, he's lovely. What are you going to so say? kind. And I'm just... Eh. What are you going to say? Um... Let's say you three things. You can go first. I was waiting for you to go first. I know, but beautiful. Oh god. <laughs> oh <you're> disgusting. <laughs> you do it on purpose. Go An on. Annoying. Opinionated. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. You basically just said, I'm not going to say anything nice about no, you. No, because I find it cringe, not because I don't have anything nice to say. Okay, what are you going to say? Um, yeah, I think actually one of your best traits is that you're kind, so I will say that. Kind. What's the one? There's one word. I've, it's like escaped me. Um... If they picked that up, you're going to be really embarrassed about saying that. <laughs> Do you think you heard that? <laughs> Google didn't even hear it. Good. Um, I'll kind. say kind, generous. <laughs> Same thing, but No, it's not. Fine. Generous. <laughs> you don't... Oh, kind, generous. I don't want to say funny because I just said you're not funny. <laughs> And you're not funny. You're nothing. So there you go. Three nice things, and you only said one about me. Because you said you were gonna, you teed me up to say bad things. No. You were like, I'm not gonna say. It anything. was a test, and you failed. <laughs> oh, I tell Emily I love her like every day, but yeah. Emily is a bit more. It's like, like word vomit for me. I can't say it. You have to like grate really it hard. out of her. Like, and every like five or six days, you'll be laying in bed and she'll go, I love you too. And you'll be like, oh my God, like, thank God. The first time she told me she loved me, we were having an argument, right? <laughs> this is a good so we're having an argument. We were in Spain. This was two and a half years into us being together. We had an argument about something. And she, we go downstairs and she goes to me. You're going to say it wrong. I know you are. Go on, you say it then. No. I love you. No, 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 no. It's like when she goes, bloody hell, you've put a bit of weight on when I come I've back from her. You, you always ever. say I'm really never. chunky. You do. You call oh, me Chubbs. My like... nickname's Chubbs. Yeah, because Chubbs. you're chubby, but you're not. I would never say it like that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically a great little story that took ages to tell. It's a good story. We need to, like. Rehearse it. Yeah, not rehearse it, but, like, um, remember it properly. Because it's a good story. But yeah, two and a half years in, so he says the L word. I say it every a lot day. More, but I, I, I don't say it.